also uh, show our viewers that the National uh, Eating Disorders Association has quite a few truths to eating disorders. So let's walk us, let's walk mm -hmm. through some of these, uh, both of you. You can have an eating disorder and look healthy. Very well, true, Dr. Joris. The, the majority of people, you know, are, are not very low body weight that have eating disorders. So um, a lot of times it may be the dentist even that picks it up, first of all. Really? It's a normal body weight person, but they're vomiting continually, and that causes a lot of cavities That's and erosion right, of, of the, the enamel. Acid. Yeah, so the dentist may pick it up first. But uh, yeah, you're absolutely right about that. All right, let's see a few more of those. Our families are not to blame, but can help in recovery. Well, that's what we were just talking. We were just about. talking about They're that. They're not to blame. They should never feel blamed, although they do. Right. But they need to be involved. They have to be involved. Uh, and don't forget, we're we're sort of talking about a lot of young kids and anorexia. Families, in many cases, are now the husband and the children. It's the bulimic who is 30 years old and finally coming to grips with the fact that she's been bulimic yeah. throughout the first 10 years of her marriage. So her support system is not necessarily her parents. It's her husband. And I have, over the years, received many calls from husbands. Thank God for husbands who yeah. care enough to say, my wife does this thing. I didn't even know when I was dating her. I didn't even know until we were living together. But she vomits very frequently after meals. Is that oh, normal? Yeah. No. You know? Yeah. No, obviously not. No.